Hey everybody, what's going on? It is James here with Crypto Common Sense, aka 3D Trading. And in today's video, I want to walk through how to use a tool over on TradingView that I believe will help you become a better trader. And the tool is, I think it's free. I don't know if it's free. It's included with my plan. I'm assuming it's included on the free plan as well. But this tool is the replay tool. Um, so I posted this shot up and I use this when I'm back testing uh, my indicators manually. And the reason that I use this is because uh, I found that when I automate the back test on TradingView that it uses candle closes, uh, which is not always, you know, accurate. A lot of times a target is hit before the candle closes. And so uh, manual back testing is still not perfect, but it allows me a little bit better um you know, results as far as being more accurate. So anyway, I posted this up on Facebook today. Um, I'm really trying to drive home for those of you in the Facebook group, um, that trading is more about math and money management than it is like having the perfect entries. And it also made me realize that this tool is very, very useful. I don't know when trading you actually introduced this tool, um, as far as what I'm about to show you, because I was already trading with real money and, and trading, you know, um, I don't know, professionally, whatever. Professionally just means you make money in something. But trading for a living, right? So I never use this tool to learn to trade, but I think it's a really good tool. Uh, so let me show it to you. So the thing about trading is this. Trading is a game of money management and pattern recognition. And money management, I've done plenty of videos on. I know it's a boring topic, but it's critical to trading. But I'll avoid that for the most part today because, it, you know, again, I've done many videos. So what I want to show you instead is this is today's trade day. And if you look at this, um, these are the trades that uh, my day trading indicator picked out. There's seven trades at one, four, and lost three. I was actually really good day with a five hour day. But when you look at this, it's easy to see this buy label right here as an example and say, well, I wouldn't take that. This is an obvious downtrend. It's only obvious because we have all of this information. And so if you look at a replay tool, you cut this off, it's suddenly not so obvious. I don't think it's a bad trade, even though I know in hindsight that it lost. I don't think it's a bad trade at all. When I look at this, what I saw was, you know, this coming back down to this range back here. It looked like it was probably going to bounce off of it, maybe go up and put in some kind of move, uh, at least maybe try to challenge this high or at least try to challenge this area in here. And so if I'm looking at this, and I'm going to show you this tool in a second, you know, I've only got a 50 cent stop loss uh, on my trade and a dollar profit target. That doesn't look all that unreasonable to expect something like that to happen. It did. Okay. But what's great about this tool is you can actually, let's go back even further to show you this. You can go bar by bar and you can actually take your time to think about what trade should I be had an alarm go off. So I don't know where that interrupted me at, but essentially this tool allows you to go bar by bar. And instead of, you know, maybe you work during the day, maybe you have a career during the day, so you're not able to sit down every day. Well, you can sit down in the evening and go bar by bar. And it shouldn't take more than like 30 minutes to go f through a full trade day. There's only like 391 minute candles and there's even less five minute candles. So whatever time frame you want to trade. But it gives you a chance to really start to get repetition with pattern recognition. And also I find that a lot of people, they don't really keep track of, their paper trades, especially, or when they're learning, they just kind of like keep it in their, like a mental note of it. It's very inaccurate. And so what I like about this tool is watch this. Let's say, for example, that I took this cell. So what I can do is let's just say hypothetically, you know, you need $25,000 to be a pattern day trader. So let's say I had 25 grand, I'm risking $250 per trade. I have a 50 cent stop loss. That's my standard stop on a, a day trade on a moment chart in the QQQ. It's current volatility. It changes. And with that, uh, what I do is I hit the sell, 500 shares is going to be $250 risk. I hit the stop loss. I put it right up here like this. So $250 is my risk, 1% of 25K in this example. Pull this down for a $500 profit target, just like that. And then I just click until it hits one or the other. Boom. Now it's closed that trade for me. And I can say, hey, I made $500 on this you know, paper trade. And then I just go candle by candle throughout the day until I am done with the day. And then I can write down my results in the, the day. I can say, Hey, this particular day, you know, I 
would have won X number of trades. I would have lost X number of trades. And I would have walked out X dollars of profit. And if you do that every day consistently, maybe after you know a month or a few months, maybe you've done a year's worth of testing. If you're profitable, especially big time profitable over that year without cheating, without looking forward and things like that, it will go a long way in not only building your confidence, but it will also just go a long way in pattern recognition. The more charts you look at, the easier it is to find patterns and the easier it is to recognize those patterns early versus late. Um, so let's go forward until we find a loss here so I can show you how this works. Okay, so same thing. I do a buy. I pull my stop loss down to 250 in this example because that's 50 cents times 500 shares. Pull this up for 500, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. It's not going to hit it. Boom, stopped me out. Okay. If I go down here, it says, hey, you made 250. And then I can click on this replay trading right here and watch what it does. It actually tells me, hey, you took two trades, 50% were profitable. Your profit factor is two. Max drawdown was 250. Average trade was $125. This is my edge. This is, you know, if you take a thousand trades, your average trade, that's your edge. And in other words, every trade you take, that's the average amount of money you make. Not on a whim, but on every single trade, on average, that's what you make. And you can see 250 here, okay? And I won't bore you to tears by going through every single trade. At the end of the trade day, this would have looked like it took seven trades at one, four, it lost three. So if you think about it, four times two R is eight R. It lost three, so that's minus three. End of the day, five R. It's risking $250 per trade. Five R, five times 250, $1,250 profit. Okay, that's, that's today's trade day using a one minute chart. So the main takeaway is this, use this tool, you know, uh, whether it's with an indicator you like, whether it's just trading straight up price actions, so maybe you're trading with no indicators. Maybe you have a chart that looks like this. Let's uh, go back to the beginning of the day. So you start the day like this. First candle comes in and you think to yourself, what do I do? And you practice. Maybe you don't take a trade. You see the second candle and you think, oh gosh, railroad tracks. Maybe I should short this. Maybe you do short it. Maybe you don't. You practice. Okay. Let's just say you did. Let's say that you... Uh, we're going for a scalp. Ah, ah, it's not get too complicated. Let's just use the same 50 cents and a dollar. I don't know if that would have worked or not. It's not a trade I would have taken. Uh, not enough information there. But let, let's say that you did. Okay, there you go. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, right? Trade would have worked. Kudos to you. And you do that, but you don't just guess, right? You don't guess at it. You really want to take trades that you would take if you were using real money. Because you're trying to get an idea of, is my system profitable? And the only way to really get that confidence is through trading that system. But you don't have to risk real money and you don't have to take six months. You know, if, you, it, it, if you're only able to trade and only able to get data from days you really trade, especially if you work, you may only be able to trade one day a week. It's going to take you years to get the experience you need. But if you can go through a replay mode, and again, don't cheat. That's the key is don't look ahead because then it's going to, you know, it's going to bias your decisions. You want to try to be as non-biased as you can, just like it was a real trade day. Go bar by bar, analyze those bars, get good at recognizing the patterns, get good at recognizing trend lines, get good at recognizing areas of support and resistance, you know, recognize, Hey, I'm at support. I have this bullish candlestick pattern at support. Maybe I'll take a long, so on and so forth. If you do that over and over again, that repetition it will build you know, muscle memory, so to speak. And that muscle memory is what you need. All that being said, please remember, I am some guy sitting in a spare bedroom, which means that nothing in the video is financial advice. You should always go out and do your own due diligence and seek out professional financial advice before making any type of investment in cryptocurrency, the stock market, precious metals, Forex, or any other tradable asset. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you leave me a comment. I really appreciate that. And of course, please remember... Always trade safe.